basically I was born, yes, in a nursing home as my parents opened the 16-bed convalescent nursing home back in 1945, the year I was born. Where, where was that? Chatham, Ontario. It was the first nursing home in our town, in our city. My mom was a registered nurse and I always wanted to follow in her footsteps to be a nurse. I wasn't that good in school, I didn't think I'd get into it. My dream did come true and I was launched into my nursing career as a registered nurse in 1966. Doors, op doors were open everywhere. I nursed my way across Canada to Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. I worked in large and small hospitals, six, six children's hospital in Toronto, at a Red Cross outpost on the edge of the Great Lakes, Lake Huron. I met my husband in British Columbia and we went further north with the government of Canada. I nursed in the Arctic for six years, part, just part time because I had little kids. I just did weekends or bits and pieces. Every time we moved move further north, we had another baby. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we came to, uh, I get my red lights and green lights mixed up. There's no traffic lights up there. We came to Australia in 1990 to support Ernie's dear mom. I got hired right away at Julia Parr. Had the interview on Friday and started work that Monday on the head injury assessment under uh, Ruth Kitson. Anybody know her? Yep. Yeah. Fantastic nurse. Well, at Julia Parr, I completed the uni uh, neurotics course and became a, a clinical nurse on the neuro ortho rehab board. In I think it was 1995 we came across the repat. So half went to Hampstead and the other half came to repat. And it was um, your mom that interviewed me to come here. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Professor Hart. Um, oh. um, no, Ernie had uh, taken uh, the, 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 the Mr. Mom role and it taught me everything I knew how to bake cookies and do the laundry and do everything. Somehow I gradually got doing everything myself anyhow. But anyhow, um, it was... Um, Too many complaints. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good excuse. Any, anyhow, uh, that's how I got going full time once we came to, and he looked after his mom house with the family kids around the corner. So anyhow, I did get hired and uh, did then go across to uh, uh, Pat, I think it was around 95. You, didn't know, you, you came uh, later. I came after 2004. Yeah. Wow, much later. I think 95 was when we had transitioned from Commonwealth to the States. Okay, 96. Yeah, maybe yeah, it was a year after, a yeah. few months after. Yeah. It was Mark that was uh, head of our area at the yeah. time. Uh, um, so yeah, we came across and went to Repat, and then I went over to Rita, and then I came up, came across the seniors of Dakota. I'm cutting really short. Teamwork has always been my forte, and I honestly can say, in all my years of nursing, this team on Dakota, under the leadership of Joe and you as well, has been the best. Working with you all has been an honor and my delight. God bless you all. on someone here. <laughs> but I, did, I, I didn't get around to that. But I did bring some shoehorn. If someone feels they benefit from the shoehorn, over the years carrying a little shoehorn in my pocket has saved so much stress, putting these big fat feet in the real tight shoes. <laughs> you know, everybody should have to carry a little shoehorn. So I just let me know, I'll make a list, I'll make sure you all get a shoehorn. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> 